Hello out there to you. This is an AP uh, Unit 5 practice question, and it's in the monopsonistic uh, part of the part of the course right here. Okay, um, not a huge part of the AP exam, but uh, big enough that you do need to know it. These questions, once you learn how they work, they're usually pretty easy, so it should be exciting to get one. Uh, all right, in the table below, assume a monopsonist. What, what does that mean? It means a single buyer. And in this case, uh, what we really mean is a single employer because this is a labor market. So this is when monopsonies would be most likely to happen. So particular type of labor, columns one and two. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to find where does the marginal revenue product of labor, which is this, equal the marginal factor cost? That can also be called the marginal labor cost. Same thing, okay? Uh, so we've already got marginal revenue product of labor. We've got the wage rate, and then we just need to calculate what's the marginal labor cost. So let's, let's first make a column here for total labor cost and then we're going to do it here marginal labor cost which is the same as saying marginal factor cost so depending on who's writing the question it's that's how you do it okay so we're going to take uh, total labor cost is the wage rate times the number of labor units that i'm hiring could be hours could be work, workers whatever um, so one times six one worker or one unit times six dollars is six to now in order to get the second worker I have to raise the wage for both workers up to seven so this is 14 uh, three times so th now to get three workers to show up I need to raise the wage up to eight dollars an hour so that's 24 you get the idea here six 50 66 uh, ooh, uh, is it 84? And ooh, 8 times 13. Don't know that one. 8 times 13 is 104. Okay. Now, the marginal labor cost, the marginal factor cost, is the change in the total labor cost. Is that kind of weird? Divided by the change in quantity of labor okay now each quantity unit here is is one that's how they're that's how they're going to use that on the ap exam too so uh it's it's really just dividing by one so it's the change from here to here okay i guess from here to here because this would have been zero so this would have been uh zero to six which is six or you could say what's this minus this or whatever you whatever however you're going to calculate the difference so here to here this is 10. And what this is, this is the cost to the firm for hiring an additional worker because everybody's wages have to increase. So that's 18 and that's 20. Okay, so now I've got this. I just need to satisfy this condition. And then we're going to lower the wage because we have a monopsony. So uh, I'm going to compare this column with this column. And we're going to just keep going down and down and down. And so 14 equals 14 and that's at five labor units so five la how many labor units will the firm hire that's five what will the wage rate be so i'm not going to pay them 14 dollars an hour because i can uh, lower that wage down to 10 so the wage rate would be 10 dollars. okay and that's how to do a monopsony problem in a table here's some questions on a monopsony in a uh, graph so here oh they're calling it marginal resource cost marginal resource cost same thing as marginal factor cost same thing as marginal labor cost same thing depending on who's writing the question uh, typically on the on the ap exam they'll let, they'll kind of leave it open to, to everything um, so down here what we're going to do is we're going to find where does in this problem we're going to call it marginal revenue cost equal the demand but the demand is actually marginal revenue product of labor okay so we're going to go down here uh, it hits right there that's where they equal okay and that gives us a quantity halfway between 6 and 12 is 9 
So oh, that, that's not purely competitive. That's the monopsony. So the monopsony answer is right here. If the market was competitive, you're used to this. This is just supply of labor, demand for labor, where they hit. Oh, I did that backwards. Sorry. Um, demand for labor, supply of labor. See, everybody makes mistakes. And we're gonna put right here. This is where this is where the uh, competitive wage rate would be. We call that W star. So um, that would have been right here. That's where supply and demand equal. Okay, so halfway in between there is 15. That's the quantity of labor. And then the wage rate paid to the purely competitive uh, labor market uh, would just be halfway there. It's $35 an hour. Okay, and then if they have a monopsony, uh, they're going to hire nine workers. And then the wage rate paid in the monopsony labor market, we're going to follow that down to here. So this is the minimum wage I need to pay to get nine workers to show up. So that would be $25. So under monopsony, the workers are going to get paid $10 less, which is bad. The value of the deadweight loss created. So it's the, the total value of the difference between the competitive outcome, which is right here, and the monopsony outcome. So it's this purple triangle here that I'm coloring in. And I'm just going to say one half uh, the difference between here to here so that's going to go from 40 down to 25 which is 15 times the loss of the number of workers which is the change between 9 and 15 there which would be 6 6 times 15 and just do this one 6 times 15 is 90 and then half of that is 45 so we would have a deadweight loss of 45. This is measured in money. And that's the answer. That's an AP unit five practice question with the monopsony markets.